Oh, oh, quite, quite dramatically. But you know, this is the point. We have a chronological age, and there's a biological age. And this biological age have been drifting, have been. No, we we see people, and we see that they're younger than their age. We see grandparents, and some of them look younger, and some of them older. And this biology is something that we can harness. We know that it's important. We know how to target it, we know how to delay, to prevent it, and even to reverse it in several situations. And that's what we can do now, and that's what we want to bring to the public. Well, you know, we are trying to find all the tools that we can have to really target this aging process. And it happens that one of the tools, the promising tools, is right here. And it's this use of oxygen under pressure, okay, to do what, to, to kind of uh, do what we lose with aging in the brain and in the rest of the body. That's why we're so interested. And that's why even in my labs at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, I have this chamber where I can, I can see in animals and, and see what really happens in the biology of aging that is harnessed so beautifully by the treatment that you give here.